jacket. Can you smell that smell? You smell that, that smell? It smells like victory. <laughs> Which in raw practical numbers here in Silicon Valley looks like more than $100 billion in net income generated by 150 of the largest tech companies here. So come with us down and through what's inarguably the heart of the valley. Palo Alto, adjacent to Stanford, betwixt and between Google and Facebook, and see what creativity was birthed from the creative giants that walk these very streets. Come on. <laughs> After all, Andrew Carnegie gave away $350 million of his fortune. In today's dollars, that's $4.7 billion. And what do we get? Carnegie Hall museums, libraries, endowments for international peace. John D. Rockefeller built both the University of Chicago and Spelman College. So this town, this street, must be chock full of the kind of wonders that will make the ages quake. I mean, I know <laughs> what New Yorkers have traditionally thought about California culture, and that's that outside of Riceroni, San Francisco, and the questionable contribution of Hollywood, there's n Well, well, come on, Let, let's just see. Or not. <laughs> you know, there, there's weird, there, no museums here. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, there's no opera houses, really. Cookies rule everything around me. This is the name of the place. I think they should write a check to the Wu-Tang Clan. But you, you wouldn't necessarily see all that cultural enriching stuff. You know, they could be all around us right now and you would have no idea. On Broadway, off Broadway, dance troops, theater, nightclubs for Christ's sakes, no. None of those either. Look, look, look. This is not so much about who is giving how much, but much more about who wants to do what and how it informs the life of the mind. But if the proof of the pudding is in the tasting for transplanted New Yorkers, this tastes like victory. <laughs> <laughs>